Hi friends, welcome to our channel SAP HANA Database Administration. So, for the SAP HANA Database Administrator, ad monitoring of the HANA Database is a daily task and it's an important task. So, we must know each and every option which is available there in the HANA Studio. So, in the last video, we saw about the overview tab. So, now we will see the next tab that is the landscape. So on the landscape tab, the important information which we can see that is the services. So this, these are the HANA services which running the HANA database. So let's see the detailed information about the services. So in the first column, we can see the status of the services. Now we can see it's a green, means all services are running. So if you found that any of the service in the red, it means that this service is not running then we have to take the action okay so for taking the action you must have that role authorization okay so how you will take that action then you just have to click on that particular service then you can see this different option like stop kill then reconfigure service then reset memory statistic then remove service okay so then you can take the action as per that so the next option that means the column we can see that is the host in the host we can see the on which host the service is hosted then the port number of that particular service then the service name so now in our case there are only few services but in your case might be there are more services as per your components so here we can see the details about the role that is a master uh, sometime it might be slaves here so in our case it's a master that is the start time so when this service is started so the next column another is that is a process id then cpu memory used memory peak used memory then effective allocation limit then physical memory on that particular host and the important one that is the sql port so you, this sql port is important because we use this sql port for the communication with that particular tenant database or the system db so for the system DB, if we see, so we can see on the system DB, if you see the service that is the name server. So here the name server SQL port is 30013. And in case of the tenant database for the index server, that SQL port will be there. So it's a 30015. So this port we provide SAP when the SAP want to support us or SAP want to take the access of the HANA database for the troubleshooting point of view. So these ports we have to provide to the SAP. So that's the reason this is an important port and you must know this information. So if you want to see the information about the particular service, how much the memory used and the peak used memory. So just take the cursor over here, then you will get the, that particular information. And if similarly for the CPU also, so just take the cursor on that particular service at the CPU then you will get the information total CPU use and all okay so this is all about the landscape tab so the next is alert so in the alert we will get the information about the all alerts as well as the current alert only so color current alert means the alert for the recent time means for the current situation uh, and all alerts it will provide you the alert for the all days months okay so if you want to do the filter okay so filter so uh, like if you want to see the particular uh, alert for the CPU so just you just have to type the CPU so and just enter so you will get the information if if there is any alert for the CPU then you will get the information about the CPU alert okay so the next option is configuration so here you can configure the alert for that particular database so about this in uh, configuration we will make the another video in that video we will see the detailed information about the configuration so after configuration the next is filter so this filter basically we will use when we want to filter the particular alert as per their priority like if I selected the error then if I click then if there is any error then we will see it so uh, so as per that we can select it high uh, or the medium or the low or the information so 
this is as per the priority we can you know uh, filter the alerts here the option given for the you know as per the timeline See the next step that is the performance so this is important tab in point of view performance so if there is any performance issue then we have to refer this tab so we can see if I click on the summary if I expand the summary we ca I can see here the total users those are connected to the da uh, database okay the application user uh, here the name we can see the database user active threads status here active 3 inactive 153 blocked 1 so this all information we will get here so while doing the troubleshooting or you know monitoring the system this is important that we must see how much is active how much inactive and you know how many users get to HANA database so the next one is total number of the threads and by types so the job workers and the SQL executor so how much is the SQL executor is now using one and the job executor is zero so this is the information about the threads next is session so here we can see the ideal session active uh, and the running session so uh, and even we can do the filter here as per the uh, column so so you you can you can use this option here you can do the customizing which exactly you know you want to see uh, which column you want to see so just if you do that then you, you will get a, you will get that particular column as per your requirement so this is about the session in the block transaction actually if any block transaction is there you will get that information here sometimes due to the block transaction system get impacted system performance get impacted so directly you can come and you can see then uh, you know information about that user who is uh, whose transaction is blocked and uh, which transaction so you can inform that respective user for taking the action so next is SQL plan cache and important next one is expensive statement trace so if system performance is getting degraded you can see here and come you can see that which expensive statement is impacting uh, HANA database uh, so this is also another important one so job pro, uh, job progress so job uh, so what uh, kind of job so job it will be like you know backup then uh, delta merge so uh, these are the jobs you, you can get the status of the jobs here so this is also another important uh, sub sub tab uh, in the performance okay so next one we will see volume so the importance of the volume is that uh, while you know uh, if you don't have access for the OS you can see the information about the utilization of that particular file get the more details information I have to come down here so uh, we can see the name of that file data volume and the number and the dot that file so this is basically the data file and the total size which is allocated to this file is 2816 in MB this is actually and the use is 1830 and the percentage currently using that is a 65 so uh, it's mean that this total size of that file means this file is 286 out of this size only use uh, means currently data saved that is the 1830 and the remaining is still free so if any data is come then that data will get insert okay so this is about the size similarly you can see the logs so if you click on the logs uh, then you can see under which file the logs are getting right which one is free so this information you know actually is helpful if uh, you saw, uh, saw that if database is getting hang uh, 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 so that time you need to find what exactly reason so these options will help to find out the reasons next is configuration so con in configuration there is a information about the parameter those are configured for the database is the system information so in system information basically uh, there is the SQL script that we can use for a monitoring purpose or for the other purpose uh, for the performance um, uh, troubleshooting point of view and if you want to create your own folder as I created here you can create your own folder just right click on it create the new folder then you can add your SQL queries statement here just you can create the new as well as you can import your old SQL statement from the file system so this is about the system information 
next is the diagnostic so in the diagnostic basically we get the information about the index server trace access engine trace then we can see the alerts then we can see the load unload of the tables so basically this type we used when there is any uh, troubleshooting we have to do any troubleshooting related to you know, system performance or if a uh, system got a restart uh, suddenly so to find out the reason behind it you can come to the uh, diagnostic file and then see the latest index server file as well as the name server file so you can refer this trace file to get your answer so this this is basically about the uh, diagnostic the trace configuration so basically this option we use uh, as per our requirement so if uh, we can see here the SQL trace then performance trace then expensive trace, uh, expensive statement trace end to end trace then user specific trace then database trace uh, so basically we use this as per our uh, requirement if there is the uh, issue related to performance then we will use the performance trace uh, if I want to trace the particular user then I will use the user specific trace okay so for this uh, tab we will make the full detailed video and then I will explain uh, each and every tab and how to configure the trace okay so this is all about the these tabs those are available in the HANA studio and uh, this is the important tabs and we must know information those are there in each and every tab so this is all about the HANA database monitoring so I hope this video will you know help, uh, this video will be helpful for you guys so please uh, if you like please subscribe share this video thank you so much for watching this video take care bye, -bye.